I'm Danny Lobel, the host of the Modern Day Philosophers Podcast, a podcast where I discuss a philosopher with a comedian every week. In this clip you're about to hear, I talk to my friend Jason Zumwalt, who was once an outstanding impressionist and stand-up comedian, but gave it all up. Why? Why did he do it? Take a listen to this. I'm not a stand-up anymore, which is definitely part of the reason you and I don't get to see each other anymore. Do you miss it? I always had an issue with stand-up in that, okay, A, I was an impressionist, right? And even I don't really like impressionists but I can do it, so that's... And you do it very well. Thanks. But I love Carlin and Pryor. I love the greats. I love the greats. And there's no, there's no impressionist. There's Rich Little, and there's... What's his face now? The guy who does uh, Madden. He's fa- uh, sure. And by the way, um, they're fantastic. Okay. They're really good, and... Um, I know who you're talking Caliendo. about. Caliendo. Yeah, he, Frank Kelly. He really busts me up. The thing he did, he read uh, LeBron James' letter as Morgan Freeman. Did you hear that recently? Dude, it's f- brilliant. All of a sudden, you're like, wow, LeBron James is this touching, you know, soulful person. And he <laughs> just read his, you know, welcome, I'm coming back to Cleveland letter as Morgan Freeman. And it took it to this whole other level. Um, and I also, here's the other thing I'm not as good as Caliendo. I knew that like even there in that arena, I wasn't the greatest. I was more of a mimic. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I gave up stand-up because I, I wanted to be a comic. And I knew that in order to be a comic, I had to be comfortable living in shit for longer than I was accustomed to. You know what I mean? It's a hard life, you know? I know. And... and when acting took off and when uh, writing took off, that was the only thing that wasn't paying rent. And you, you could say, well, isn't that when you could have done something for yourself? I was doing the other two things for myself too. And I needed to sleep. On top of that, my, my father passed away in 2004 and I had a major moment on stage. Uh, I was at the... New York Comedy Club doing a fucking prom show. And and I, I was up there and I realized the one person that I wanted to hear me was dead. And I didn't give a shit about anyone in a in a in a comedy audience. I didn't need their approval. The one person I needed his approval, he's gone. So I was free. So I, it was weird. My father's death kind of freed me of the need. To get on stage, does that make sense? It makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Yeah, you were trying to you were trying to get your dad's attention. Yeah, I was I was on a soapbox screaming "Daddy," but uh, and then there was no point anymore. And then there was no point. So now I'm a soapbox just screaming at my wife. <laughs>